Welcome to this intermediate yoga flow. This is a full body practice with a few challenging postures in the mix so that you have the opportunity to take it up a notch if you would like to explore different variations today. When you are ready, we'll begin in a seated position. So just start by relaxing hands on tops of the knees, settle into a comfortable seat. If you like, you could close the eyes if it helps you to concentrate. And we'll just begin focusing on the breath. And at the same time, we'll start to roll the head over to the left. And then over to the right. You can start with half circles to begin. And then move into full circles. Going a few times in one direction. And then switching directions. Bring the head back into neutral. Reach your arms up and interlace your fingers and then flip your palms skywards. With an inhale, reaching up even taller, lift shoulders up by ears. And as you exhale, bend to your right and turn your chest open to the sky. If you're needing some support here, the right fingertips could always come down. Try to focus on reaching the arms away from the body, lengthening both sides of the torso as best you can. Inhale, come back up through center, reaching tall. Exhale, bending to the left, turning the chest open to the sky. This time, if you're needing support, left hand can come down. Keep reaching through the arms. And inhale, come back up through center. Relax your arms by your side. Roll the shoulders back a few times. Forwards a few times. And then come into tabletop. Turn the hands to the sides of your mat. So fingers point out. Start to rock side to side. You can either stay here or begin turning the fingers to face the knees. Again, rocking side to side. Maybe you begin to walk out your hands, lifting and lowering one at a time. Start to spin the hands so that the fingers face forwards. Then flip the right hand down so the top of the hand is on the mat. Then start to draw a fist with your hand and then open the hand, spread the fingers wide. Clench your hand into a fist. Stretch the fingers apart. One more time, holding that fist tightly and then release. Shake out the right hand and we'll switch. So flipping the left hand down, start by spreading your fingers wide and then clench your hand into a fist. Spread the fingers wide and clench the hand into a fist. One more time, fingers spread wide. Close your hand into a fist, hold it tightly. And then we'll release, shake out the left hand all together and set the left hand down. Round your back, bring your chin to your chest. And start to roll from side to side, moving through some barrel rolls. The movement doesn't have to be isolated to the spine. You can get the hips, arms and shoulders involved too. Move a few times in one direction and then switch the direction. Come 
come back through center. On your inhale, dip your belly to arch your spine. With your exhale, round your back, press the floor away. Inhale into your cow pose. And exhale into cat. Move with your breath a few more times through this. One more inhale and exhale. Come back to a neutral spine. Extend both legs into plank. And start to pedal out your legs. And you could just tap one knee down to the mat at a time. If you'd like a little more variety, you could twist the knee across the body as you pedal out the legs. And gradually picking up the hips now, walking yourself back into down dog. When you find downward dog, you can play around with whatever feels good. It could be complete stillness or it could be finding new shapes. Take a full breath in through the nose. Exhale the breath out through the nose or mouth. One more deep breath in. Exhale out. Lift the left leg high, keeping the hips square. And step the foot through to high lunge. Arms up, inhale. As you exhale, twist to your left and reach your arms towards the front of your mat. So it's like you're folding and twisting at the same time. If you're needing more support here, the right hand could come down. Lower the back knee down to the mat. This time the right hand will come down, left arm will reach up. Turn your chest open just a little bit more. Hold for a full breath in. Exhale, press the floor away, lift up and start to lean back. So the left hand will reach back to catch your ankle if it's within reach. Right arm will reach up. And start to straighten the front leg. Cartwheel the right hand down, reach your left arm up for a twisted half split. You could flex the front foot. There's also the option to keep a little bend in the knee to make it more accessible. Shift your weight into your right hand, sweep the left leg all the way back, keeping the leg lifted as you go. And we'll find this uh, modified half moon position. So stacking left hip over right, arms are in one line. Hold for full breath in. Exhale, return to tabletop. Extending the legs to find plank, press the floor away, hold for an inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down to your belly. You could always lower the knees if you're modifying. And we'll start with sphinx to begin as we're just warming up. Press the forearms into the mat, relax your shoulders down your back. And with your exhale, join me back in down dog. Inhale, the right leg will lift, hips will stay square. Exhale, step through to high lunge. Arms up, inhale. With your exhale, twist to the right and reach your arms forward. So it's like you're twisting and folding at the same time. Left hand can always come down if you're needing some support. Lower the back knee down, then the left hand will come down to the mat, right arm will reach up. Turn your chest open to the right side. Take a full breath in, expand through the chest. With your exhale, press the floor away, lift up, and start to lean back. So the right hand will catch your back ankle, the left arm will reach up.
Straight in the front leg and cartwheel the left hand down as you reach your right arm up, coming into your twisted half split. You can flex the front foot. You can always keep a little bend in the knee if it helps. And start to shift your weight into your left hand as you sweep your front leg all the way back, coming into that modified half moon. Stack right hip over left. Bring the arms into one line. Hold for a breath in. Exhale, return to tabletop. Extend your legs to find plank. Hold for a breath in, press the floor away. And with your exhale, slowly lower down to your belly. This time there's the option to take cobra. Relax your shoulders down your back, draw your chest forwards. Exhale, come back to down dog. Lifting the right leg high, open out the hip and sweep the leg out to your right side like you're drawing a half circle. Gradually sweeping the foot all the way forwards. Turn both feet to the left side of the mat, coming into a straddle position. Left hand will stay grounded, right arm will reach up to come to a twist. There's also the option to wrap the right arm behind the back, reaching for your clothing or possibly even the left hip crease. Start to bend the right knee and spin both feet to face the front of your mat. Keep spinning to turn to your right as you sink the left side hip down, coming into a twisted lizard. You could stay in the bind here or the right arm can reach towards the back of your mat. And press the floor away, pick up the hips. And you can either heel toe the right foot over the left for side plank, or you could pick up the leg and keep the leg raised. With your exhale, come back into plank. Hold for a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, option to take upward facing dog this time. And with your exhale, join me in downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg will lift, open out the hip. And sweep the leg out to the left side like you're drawing a half circle, gradually sweeping the foot in between the hands. Turn your feet to the right side of your mat, coming into that straddle position. Right hand will stay on the mat, left arm will reach up to twist. And there's the option to wrap the left arm behind the back, reaching for your clothing or your waistband. Start to bend the left knee, spin your feet to face the front of the mat. Keep turning to your left as you sink the right side hip down to come to Twisted Lizard. Left arm can either stay in the bind or reach down towards the back of your mat. Pressing the floor away, pick up the hips. You can either heel toe left leg to stack on top of the right, or you could pick up the left foot and keep the leg raised in your side plank. Keep pressing the floor away. Hold for an inhale. Exhale takes you back to plank. Holding for a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, finding your back bend of choice. Exhale, meet me back in downward facing dog. Lift the right leg high and open out the hip and bend the knee. You could start to draw circles with the right leg, circling away from the body a few times. And then in towards the body a few times. 
cross the right leg over the top of the left and open out to side plank on your right. Squeeze the legs together to help keep you in position. And start to lift the right knee in towards your chest and extend the leg. Left hand will catch the foot. You may stay here or there's also the option to begin lifting the leg up towards right shoulder. Turning the chest open. Hold for a full breath in. Exhale, turn to face forwards and lower the right foot down. You may need to adjust yourself so that you turn your body to face the front of your mat. Start to scooch the front foot forwards and edge the back leg down the mat, bringing yourself into a split position or wherever is accessible here. Steady your breath. And try to remain unattached to the pose that you're in. It doesn't matter if you're all the way. It doesn't matter if you aren't. Use your hands to pick yourself back up. You can edge the feet in closer towards one another to come into a low lunge. Allow the front knee to track past the ankle. Allow the hips to sink down. Right hand can rest on the front knee for support. Left hand will reach back to catch your back foot. And this is a wobbly one, so you may find this is as far as you'd like to take it. If you would like to go further, start to draw the foot in close towards the back of your body. Slowly release the left foot. Step to plank. And in your plank position, bend the left leg. Start to twist to your right and place the left foot behind you. Then left, foot, left arm will reach overhead as you spin open into wild thing. Pick up the hips, pick up the heart. With your exhale, release, come back into plank. Move through your vinyasa. Breath by breath, meeting me back in down dog. Lifting the left leg high, opening out the hip. Bend the knee. Start to draw, the, draw circles with the leg a few times away from the body. and then a few times in towards the body. Cross the left leg over the top of the right, spin open into the side plank on your left, reaching the right arm up. Squeeze the legs together to find your hold. And lift the left knee in towards your chest and extend the leg. Right hand will catch the foot. You have the option to stay here, or you could start to lift the leg up towards the left shoulder. Turning the chest open. Keep pressing the floor away. Hold for a breath in. Exhale, turn to face forwards, lower the left foot. Rearrange your body so that your body is facing forwards and start to edge the front foot forwards and the back leg further down the mat to work into your splits. And just like last time, remaining unattached to the outcome. You are no better or no worse off for doing the full variation. And use your hands for support as you bring yourself into low lunge, letting the front knee track past the ankle. Hips will sink down. And 
and the left hand can rest on the knee for support. Right hand will reach back to catch the foot. You have the option to stay here or there's the option to draw the foot in towards your body. Slowly release the right foot and step to plank. In your plank, bend the right knee. Turn your body to the right. Place the right foot behind you. And then spin open into wild thing. Lifting the hips, lifting the heart, pressing the floor away. Come back into plank and slowly move all the way down to your belly. Reach the right arm out to the right side. Then roll onto the right side of your body. So you have the option to stack the legs here or you could bend the left knee and place the foot behind you. There's also the option to bind the left arm behind the back. Slowly release, roll back onto your belly. And reach the left arm out to the left side. Roll onto the left side of the body. There's the option to stack the legs or you could bend the right knee and place the foot behind you. And there's also the option to wrap the right arm behind the back for a bind. Roll back onto your belly. Then keep the legs as they are, but press yourself up into tabletop. Stacking the hips over the knees, then walk your hands forwards and sink your chest down into puppy pose. You could rest the chin or the forehead on the ground here. And allow yourself to settle into position, slowing down the breath. Gradually lift yourself up. Then you can bring your big toes together. Open your knees wide. Send your hips back. Coming into a child's pose. Gradually walking the hands forwards as you lower yourself down. As you find child's pose, give yourself permission to completely relax here letting go of any muscular efforts.
slowly bring yourself up and find a comfortable seat. As you find your seat, there is the option if you're in a hurry to end your practice here, or if you would like to stay with me for a short meditation, there's also that option too. So if you're settling in for meditation, take a moment to get as comfortable as you can so that you can be still. And setting the hands on the knees, slowly lower your gaze, or you could close the eyes completely. And we'll settle into that inner stillness. Bring your awareness to your breath. Just observing each inhale and exhale. With each exhale that you let go, notice if you can let go of any more layers of tension. Can you sit back into yourself, into that place of calm? Deepening the breath now. Bringing your awareness back to my voice. Back to the space around you. And lower your chin to your chest. Gradually flicker your eyes open. Thank you so much for your time and your energy. I hope that you enjoyed this class. Have an amazing day. Namaste.